today I'm back in one of my favorite places, Yosemite, and I have brought my sweet dog, Thumper. Now, we're going to share some of our favorite dog-friendly spots inside of the park with you. Come join us. While you won't find any dog-friendly hiking trails at Tunnel View, Thumper and I have enjoyed relaxing here and watching numerous sunrises and sunsets. Tunnel View is a classic Yosemite spot to see Half Dome and El Cap. And this can be a quick pit stop on your trip. However, photographers will camp out for hours to capture the perfect picture. One spot I often visit with Thumper is Glacier Point, located just past Washburn Point. There's a short paved path here and incredible views of Half Dome and Yosemite Valley below. Now, just be aware that Glacier Point Road is scheduled to be closed all of 2022 for major road rehabilitation, which means this spot won't be available to dogs during 2022. Did you know you can become a Yosemite Bark Ranger? Now, the Bark Ranger Code helps to protect you, your pet, and the park. As we remember to bag our pet waste, always leash our pet, and respect wildlife while we know where we can go with our pet. You can always stop by the Yosemite Visitor Center and pick up an official Bark Ranger pledge card. Here in Yosemite, service animals are legally permitted anywhere visitors can go, but family pets, like Thumper here, are only allowed in specific areas. You can see my full blog post for a more complete list, but leashed pets are allowed in most developed areas and campgrounds, but not walk-in campgrounds, and they're also allowed in most fully paved roads and sidewalks, um, except where signs prohibit it, like the Vernal Falls Trailhead. Some of the places dogs are not allowed here include unpaved trails, shuttle buses, and public buildings or hotels located inside the park. And you can see the full list at the Yosemite NPS website. Come on. Even though park hotels don't allow pets, you could always consider renting a cabin in Wawona, Forista, or Yosemite West. And outside of the park, I've stayed at Tanaya Lodge, which even offers dog sitting. We absolutely love it. And this week, we're staying in the Yosemite View Lodge. Thumper loves heading out to her private patio. Lower Yosemite Falls Loop is a short trail and at just over half a mile round trip, it offers you some great views of North America's tallest waterfall. Uh, you can also continue and extend your hike for an additional mile around Cook's Meadow for some more wonderful views of Yosemite Falls.
The paved Cook's Meadow is wonderful any time of day, but sunrise or sunset, you might even catch some deer along the path. Mirror Lake is more of a seasonal pool of water that forms from Tenaya Creek with the snow melt. Now in spring, you'll find the lake at its fullest, but by fall, the lake is often dried up, turning into more of a meadow. It's believed this lake is the last remnant of a large glacial lake that once filled the valley. Now, the native Awanichi people, who were long active in this area, gave the lake a name meaning quiet waters before they were driven out as Mirror Lake was developed for tourists in the mid-1800s. There was a boathouse, a dance hall, cabins, and even a dam developed to make the lake bigger. But over time, the NPS has removed these structures to return Mirror Lake to its natural state. When I'm heading out on big hiking adventures inside Yosemite, Thumper always stays at home with Grandma and gets spoiled rotten. But I love planning trips inside the park that we can just enjoy together. And even though Mirror Lake dries up in the summer, this is still a fun two mile hike any time of year. It's just important to remember that when the paved walkway ends, so does your hike, because dogs must stay on the paved walkway. I love that Yosemite is so welcoming to our four-legged family members, and I'd love to encourage you to join me in following the Leave No Traints principles and leaving this place better than we found it. Please familiarize yourself with the park policies before your visit, and always double-check the NPS website for the most up-to-date information. Now, for more details about enjoying Yosemite with your dog, including even more hikes both inside and outside of the park, make sure to see my full blog post at flyingdonmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.